Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project and today's tutorial is going to show you how to add layers upon layers upon layers within iMovie. So we're starting a project off today in iMovie and we've got a few few pictures and multimedia effects in our in our library. So we're just going to work on my end card for example. So that's my end card for our YouTube channel. So we're going to drag our end card into the arrange window at the bottom down here. Click on it and we're just going to a style we're going to fit. Perfect and press tick. Now that's perfect. We've got that on for four seconds. That's long enough for this tutorial. We're now going to drag the subscribe icon to go on top of the first layer. So let's click and drag our subscribe icon down and we're going to put it there. But that is now covering our first layer completely. So if we click on our subscribe icon and do the cutaway and um, picture in picture. As you can see here, we can then move the subscribe icon to where we want to put it. We're just going to move it down here. And just adjust that so the white blends in with the white and you can't even tell. Lovely. So that's that. So just make sure that it doesn't go too big. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all the crossfades at the top as well. So it says fade dissolve. We're just going to put a zero in that box. Lovely. And press tick. So for four seconds, it says subscribe and it's getting bigger. That's what we want. So subscribe appears more. We're going to highlight the whole lot and we're going to export out. Export the file to our desktop. We're just going to layer, enable it layer one. I can spell layer without a capital A. Lovely. And then we're going to export that to our desktop just as a place where we know it is. Whilst it's exporting to our desktop, we can remove the two files we've got in our arrange window. So they've now have gone. We're just going to wait for iMovie just to let us know that it's finished exporting out. And whilst it's doing that, we're just going to move our window over just so we can get layer access to layer one, which is here. So layer one is completed now and let's just close that little window there and drag layer one into our a range window here which is this one here so now we've got layer one if we drag that down to our editing window you can see it's got subscribe on it perfect so it's our layer one with subscribe we want to now add the thumb the like button to our layer so we're going to click and drag our layer down and now the thumb is overlaying everything which we don't want we want it to be integrated into the picture we go to cut away and we do picture in picture again and we just go to the crop icon and do crop to fit because we want the whole thumb and if we move now click on this button here the layer in layer the video overlay setting and move the thumb down so the white is in the white and we'll leave it there and we're just going to remove the dissolve again we don't want that we're just going to be a hard layer so there's our third or our second layer but our third layer in a sense of the pitch acting as the first layer so we're going to export all this back out now so we go to the share icon and click file and then we're going to add layer two and layer two to our desktop just so we know which layer we're dragging in and out it's always good to label your layers correctly so whilst it's exporting, again, we remove the files from the arrange window and we wait for layer two just to finish exporting out. As you can see, it's appearing on our desktop now as a video file. And we click close and we want to drag layer two now into our media browser, our library, and click and drag it down into our arrange window. As you can see, now we have two layers so two pictures within one picture, which you can't even tell that's how it works. Our third one is the ding dong notification bell on YouTube. So we're going to click and drag that onto our 
layer. And as you can see, again, it's overlaying everything. So we do want to do a crop to fit. Um, a video. We want to click on this button here and do picture in picture, like we've been doing. We want to minimize it down a little bit and we want to put it on top of the subscribe icon. And there we go. And we'll get rid of the dissolve again because we only want it to be, we want it to be straight on. And there we go. Subscribe, the bell and the thumb. So what we'll do now is we export everything out. We're not adding anything else to our layers. So we're just going to put final end card and export that to our desktop. Now, you if you increase the time limit of your first piece, so if we did it all again before we even started layer one and increase it to 10 seconds, that's how long our layers would be. Now we've already made it a four second layer, but you can make it as long or as short as you want. Once that's completed, so we're gonna just delete what's in our range window. Wait for layer three just to finish, or final layer, to finish exporting out. And click and drag it into our media browser and down into our window here. We now have our full layer. So when we're making our YouTube video, we can add our end card, which is this one here, to the end of our videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.